Dundop Wang Chen. He's a Tibetan journalist and documentary filmmaker. He spent six years in prison in reprisal uh, for the underground film showcasing the reprisal of the Beijing Olympics, and he's here. We're so delighted to have both of you finally justly to receive your awards. Thank you so much. And now I want to present our uh, 2018 honorees. Let's start with Luz Medi Reyes. She's right here. Website, Efecto Capullo, uh, and that's become an, a critical independent voice um, reporting on what I consider to be one of the most important news stories of our time, the utter collapse of the Venezuelan economy and the resulting civil strife. So thank you for being here with us and congratulations on the amazing and difficult work you're doing. Um, Amal Habani, where's Amal? Amal Habani. <laughs> in the corruption and the political unrest uh, in Sudan, uh, and she has suffered harassment and even imprisonment as a result of her courageous and groundbreaking work. So congratulations and welcome. <laughs> uh, Nastya, Nastya Stanko. <laughs> she's, she's from Ukraine, uh, and uh, she's been, uh, she reported on the, uh, the, the, the Maidan revolution and the fighting in the East part of the country uh, for the independent broadcast uh, uh, Rodevsky. Uh, she and her colleagues have faced constant harassment um, and in 2014 she and her colleagues were taken hostage by militia and held captive for several days. So another example of courageous frontline reporting on an important national and global story. Congratulations. <laughs> And uh, when we selected our last awardee, uh, Nguyen Nok Nua Quinn, who is also known by her pen name Mother Mushroom, or May Nam, to receive our Press Freedom Award, we didn't think she would make it because she was imprisoned in Vietnam, serving a 10-year sentence for quote-unquote publishing propaganda. But thanks to intensive international pressure, she, like Ahmed, Ahmed Abba and Dong Duk Wang Chen, is now free and with us. Mushroom because she's the mother of Nam, who her, that's her pet name for her daughter, Nam. So maybe Nam, you want to step forward? <laughs> um, and um, last but not least, our Gwen Eiffel Award winner, Maria Vesta. Where's Maria? is a renowned journalist in the Philippines, and she's used her website, Rappler, to shine a lens on the Philippines' erotic and authoritarian president, Rodrigo Duterte. She's facing new legal charges of tax evasion, also trumped up, that could lead to her arrest when she returns home. If convicted, she could spend 10 years in prison. This is an amazing, courageous group. I invite you all to give them a round of applause. Please. We'll hear more about their inspiring stories tomorrow night, but now back to our regularly scheduled programming. Thanks to Steve and our friends at Reuters. More drinking, more conversation. So,